Okay, we are now live and recording, sir. Okay, anyways. All right, let's uh thank you. Bring this week uh so I don't I don't you can dub in the Pledge of Allegiance. It's not a good thing. We didn't have it on table. That's okay, we got the main meeting. Okay. So, um let's call the uh CPC to order at uh about 10 11. I mean 6 11. Oh my god. 6 11 p.m. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um we don't have I don't have my ran out of ink, so I, I don't have any does any does everybody have an agenda? We have any agendas? Karen? No, I didn't see that. Uh, it's, not, it's no, I don't. It's not that difficult. I do. There's three main items on the. Let me read this first. Oh, they're still doing the COVID. Yeah. Uh, do but I got to read this because they're still doing the COVID thing. Due to the increasing concerns surrounding COVID-19 pandemic, this meeting will be held remotely with no physical meeting location. But that's not true because you do have the option to come in person. Uh, those seeking to provide public input should also do using the methods below. Video and audio of the meeting will be aired on Comcast Local TV at a later date. A live recording of the meeting will be av available on the Dighton, Town of Dighton YouTube channel, which can be accessed using www.youtube.com slash town of Dighton. Uh, basically, you know, and it's your option to wear a mask from what I understand. Okay. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay. So we do have an agenda. What I'll do is I can pass it around. That's the best I could do. Because I, I, it sign, sounds ironic, but I ran out of ink. And we're in the process of uh, getting some. Okay. Uh, the last, do we have any minutes, Karen, from last time? No. Not a, so we'll do it at the next meeting. Oh, you do have. Do you have copies of them? Okay, I didn't know. Yeah. All right. So take a moment. Uh, the body. Just take a moment, and uh, we can approve those. After oh, that's meeting. right. That's yes. true. Uh, uh, before and meeting. I already told Karen of, of an error. Uh, I was here for that vote. I did not leave until after the vote. That's right. And I voted to deny, which meant that there's an error. Vote was five to three. So there's an error in there. Yes. Yeah, okay. But you could still vote on and approve with uh, corrections to be made. Very good. I, so I, I do remember you. I remember you voted. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, we don't have any old business. Under new business, I'd like to start out with the. Uh, we're just going to go boom, boom, boom. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to take agenda item number three out of order. Okay. Instead of wasting the town clerk's time here tonight. I'll second that. I have thought of that, but we can. Let's vote on it. So there's a motion made to, in a second, to take number one out of order and so we don't hold up the town clerk and the historical folks. Okay, so Dave. I'll take a roll call. Please. I am, uh, Dave. What is the uh, I, we're, we're voting on? We're just taking this uh, out of order. No, what is this? Read it. Uh, the agenda was vote on park and rec funding for new plan presentation, update historical society vote on 25,000 invoice, final vote on town clerk's project funding. Those are the three items. So, we gave the what's your vote? Yes, take out of order. Mr. Wood? Aye. Tim? Aye. Aye. Scott? Aye. 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 And I'm an eye, so it's unanimous. So basically, what we're doing is we're going to uh, let's take the uh, it's all right, let's take the historical first. No, we, we, just, voted, we just voted to do agenda item number three with the chairman. I'd like to make oh. a motion. Oh, you want to do the town clerk? I would like to make a motion to right. approve the town clerk's project fund. Okay. Motion on the floor. I second, second that. Second by Mrs. Collard to approve the town clerk's project funding. Is there any discussion? Any discussion on the motion? Yes. Can, can we talk a little bit about yeah, how much ahead. funding is required? Or you can. I, what, I actually was going to ask him if he wanted to speak. Sure. Or, 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 yeah. Go ahead. So I'm just. Uh, I am addressing the. Uh, 
the attempt to, to um, vote on that so quickly. So the gentleman who wanted to move that along, can you, do you, do you care to speak to uh, why, you're, why you're doing that? Yeah, the, um, the town clerk has appeared before us twice with the application for funding. We've taken it under advisement. We reviewed that and I'll make a motion to pass. And, and how much is that funding? How much is it, sir? Not to exceed 50000 okay. Did you want to say anything? Mr. Rosen, no, I'm just, I just, Mark, yeah, Mark, did you want to talk about anything quick? The only, no, I, I think I had, you guys got two applications, one for 42000 one for yep. 8000 so not to exceed And just for the public, so everything went, if the public wants to know what the 24 is, it's to preserve historical records. And, you know, we've been trying to do that for a few years. Thank you, Stephanie. And, and to add to that, there's been some quite a bit of discussion before the CPC, and it's the, the merits are there, and uh, the, the area parents have a very good job being done and worth the money. So uh, I can understand uh, the, uh, uh, what's being asked for, what the expenses are, and the value for the community. So um, with that, I think we're going to vote. Anything else, Mark? No, thank you. And I just want to say we'll call for the vote. Um, everything is in order as far as the steps. We went through all the steps, and here we are. So I do understand why we want to move the vote. So let's take a roll call vote. Aye. 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 Mr. Marble. Aye. Mr. Woods. Mr. Ryan. Aye. Aye. Mr. Aye. Aye. David. Aye. 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 Mr. Arkerson and Lyman I. So it's unanimous. It's a unanimous vote, so that carries. Thanks, Mr. Woods. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make another motion to take agenda item two on order update for the Historical Society and vote on the $25,000 invoice. Second. And to hear anything else Mr. Okay. has to offer. Thank you. Can I make one correction? It's the commission, not the society. Commission. Society says here. Yeah, but it, I'm it's not. It's the commission. commission. No, no, it's a mission. Yeah. The commission. The society is the way we're trying to Okay, motion on the floor, made and seconded by Mr. Woods and seconded by Mr. Ryan. Mm -hmm. And that we take this thing out of order, this next item, and also any little discussion or any permanent discussion needs to happen. Mr. Marco. Aye. Mr. Aye. Woods, Mr. Ryan. No discussion on the topic. I just said we're gonna have I thought we were gonna. Oh. We're, we're making a motion to take this out of order, so that's what we're going Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Aye. Adele? Aye. Uh, Mr. Aye. Aye. Mr. Rosen? Aye. Mr. Digis? Mr. Eckerson? Aye. And myself is an aye, so it's unanimous to take it out of order. So do you have anything for us? Did any thoughts? Uh, I brought some. We know it's 25 um, to continue it, so. And you've been through all the steps. We've been through all the steps. You're all set with the invoice, first of all. I'll has take it, another copy of it. Just has it been record. submitted? Anyway? No, it has not, but it will be. All right. Yeah. Because I think there was a misunderstanding the last time we took it under advisement. The and invoice should be paid because that's her. Well, we'll yeah. get on. We'll take yeah. care of that. And the other thing is, uh, Mr. Uh, Pacheco actually thought it was voted on. Yes. Which it was, but there was just a misunderstanding because it was just taken under advisement. Right, because at our commission uh, meeting, yeah. Mr. Pruitt so came forward and said that it was approved. Correct. That's what he told us. But so. that's fine. It was just well, a but I'm here. misunderstanding. So right. I brought copies. I don't know if you want to take a look at them. These are copies of the work that's been done. They're I'll drafts pass of um, just drafts of a couple of the buildings. This is what all of the for me, the little, this is what you're paying for, basically, on 94 properties. And we understand the reasoning was the state put you down on the list, so we're going to continue. Yeah, this is what's going on this year for FY22. So when we're done in June of 22, you will have 94 of these that will be available online, hard copy, probably at town hall and uh, perhaps the library. Also, there will be a hard copy map. And there'll be an overlay on the, the Dutton GIS mapping. So for FY23, which we're asking for now, is the $25,000 is to continue our update, focusing on North Dayton and the Mount Hope area. Correct. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
They got questions? No questions. You're doing a great job, and we are proud of you. And, and do you want to give me back my? You want it back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you want it back? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we'll give it back. I guess it's rough for you. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five thousand. Okay. So here, that's what you get. Mrs. Fields, I didn't realize this uh, macros wanted so much information. Yes. Yeah, there. It's really grown a lot. Um, the criteria is a lot more than when Elaine Barley was doing it and when they first started in the 70s and 80s. I mean, you could, could just go and, you know, fill out the form. You didn't have to give your documents. But as you can see, all of this has to be documented, footnoted, uh, looking at the map, pictures, uh, some genealogy of the families that were there, some deed research goes into it. So there's a lot of work. Uh, they're really, really good. I, I was impressed. I was jealous too, so because I don't like to be able to do that, but <laughs> doing a fine job. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I have a uh Dave, can I put you into public input for your financial? Because I forgot to put you on the ginger. So let's go. Uh it's all right, and I'd like to do a financial report real quick. I'm gonna be leaving pretty soon. Oh that's right. Yeah. Oh, you want to vote on that other Can thing? I ask a question? Go ahead. Are you voting again yes. to approve oh, right. this? Oh, did we vote to approve? No, we did not. Sorry, Sorry. approve. Thank you. You should stay with me. Right. Somebody's. I don't there. know. <laughs> All right, Mr. Marvell. Hi. Mr. Woods. Hi. Mr. Ryan. Hi. 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 You can have your money now, Pat. Sure, you know. Thank you, dear. Good to go. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and you if you need anything to for a town meeting, just let me know. We probably will ask okay. you to come. And okay. Help. Yeah, if you get bored, come on. You're going to have to help me out when I go in. If I get bored, come help your table? Yeah. <laughs> just get back. Have a little. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, go to the. Uh, well, we should go to the. I'd like to know about the money, but. <laughs> Why don't we wrap all that up? At the let's end? wrap that up yeah. at the end. You're reading my mind. Um, let's go for the the meat of the matter tonight. It's a big uh, <laughs> big item that we got to get this going. This other gentleman is the chairman. Another thing. <laughs> We're gonna take uh, Mark. Do you have anything to say on this? We're gonna vote on the parking lot. No, we're not. No, we're not. What? Um, I'm sorry, Chair. We're gonna error. In the procedure for item number one. Okay, we've got error. We're not here to vote on the pot tonight. We're not here to vote on the funding tonight. And we are, are you here. saying a misunderstanding? Yeah. You, you based on based on it, this is a new project, right? We voted the last project down. Okay, so this is a new application for funding. In regards to that paperwork yeah, that comes got, down from the state. In regards to this paperwork that Mr. Smith provided us with all 10 copies, and we thank him for bringing us all 10 copies. And we all do, yeah. But this is considered a new application. According, According to that. Or is it a revised application? Well, no, you know, it, it, it's an whole new plan. But wait a minute, I got something to say about that too. But it's a whole new plan. Now, I'm I understand talking. where you're coming from. Right. I, I can, I, I, Clearly understand where you're coming from. But in that uh, stuff that came from the commission that I just got and put in my hands a few, not too many days ago, there is a section that says we can move this thing forward without no, waiting. No. Oh, yeah, I think, sorry, no, may I intercede? Just for now, let, I'm going to let Tim speak because he's the former chairman. He has a lot of knowledge about not. Disrespecting you or anything. All right, go ahead. Uh, unfortunately, yes, there was an error. The paperwork for the what it states, it's on the internet. I gave it to the chairman. It should be getting put up. There is other documents to go along with. Once you come in and have an application for eligibility, it's always taken under advisement for a month. What happens after that is the applicant will come back in, present the information back to us, and then the right. on the next phase of uh, somebody on application for eligibility i'm sorry for funding once you've done the application for eligibility you come in you take it under advisement the applicant comes back in we review it and then if the committee decides to go forward with the application for funding that's when the committee decides that the funding application is out to the applicant now under the old under the rules it does state that 
You can do this at an annual town meeting or a special town meeting. Okay, and this is just my opinion. Due to the circumstances going on now, we would not be able to make the annual town meeting, but we will we'll be able to make the fall special town meeting. Okay, that's the route I think that the community, my suggestion, would be best served as well as the community because, again, just my opinion, these people waited 15 years. I worked on this diligently and got snowballed and was harpooned. Okay, this would have been done two years ago, but due to circumstances, it was not. So unfortunately, due to errors, just my opinion, I, I have, I've looked at this extensively. Kevin, you've done great work on this. I like the presentation. I'm glad I've been on my hands. I commend you and your board members for putting this together. And also with the documents, it does state, if you go into the other group of documents, that we made amendments to the paperwork that stated that any board of committee that makes a presentation or application for eligibility must have those meeting minutes voted on by that board of committee presented to this committee. And then secondly, the other part of the, uh, the other addendum that went on, I believe it was in 2018, was that the committee decided that because people were coming in at the last second, that the application process would only run from June 30th I'm sorry, excuse me, June 1st until November 30th of any fiscal year. So that way that gives the, this committee the opportunity to review applications, get the applicants to come back in and get their information back to us and then we can make an informed decision if we want to go forward with the project. So I think that those documents need to get out there on the website as soon as possible. If there was anything that happened with that, I'll take the brunt of the punishment. I worked basically as a situation of being alone all those years, okay, with no help from anyone, and trying to get projects done. And there were many projects that get done in this town due to that, what happened at that time, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and name those or any way, shape, or form. That's just my opinion in regards to the procedure with this. So again, I believe that we will be able to, if we were to vote tonight, to move forward and go right to the special town meeting. Can I ask a few questions? Sure. Uh, and yeah. not to create weeds with the process, but just as somebody that's new to the process, um, it seems to be so the information that's available to myself, you know, as an elected official or to the <clears> public, <throat> our guidelines for CBC funding are not clearly stated, so it's a little bit confusing. Um, which oh, I, I, I understand. The other group of doctors, yeah. They're right, they're but that, well, those documents are not up to the point of available. We're not available for us to see. So it is a little bit confusing. And I did do a little research to, you know, the community preservation coalition.org. And so take for instance, the town of Concord has special provisions within their bylaws. And this is something that you guys might want to consider. And it seems like kind of the operating rules are loosely based right now with the information that's available. So say for instance, with the town of Concord, um, failure to secure CP. CPC funding will create high likelihood that the project will not be able to be carried out for the benefit of the town because the opportunity is very short in duration. Appropriation of CPC funding will contribute materially to the likelihood of success for the project. So we have two right there. The project holds a high priority and comprehensive long range plan or a open space plan, historic resource master plan, or in other planning documents. So just if, for instance, this project is a part of our open space plan, which has been approved, is to increase accessibility throughout the town. Um, and much like the, the formerly proposed playground from a couple of years ago, I, I really was kind of going into this process with this emphasis that we just need to bring the North Dyke playground back. We all know that my platform has always been accessibility. That's like my main focal point. And it just, I'm so we're so focused on, oh, it's just bringing it to North Dyke and bringing it to North Dyke. In the current situation that we have in town, we have three established playgrounds in town. We don't have a single accessible surface. We have two accessible pieces, one being the wheelchair swing, which has you know pavement so you can access it, and the other is an ADA swing seat, which is set in um, some piece zone. So it's we're 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 pretty far behind um, in terms of accessibility. This is gonna this is gonna make just a massive improvement. Um, for our, our community to have a playground that literally everyone can participate on. Um, I do understand and I respect the process, but I would I would ask that you all possibly consider the fact that this does have an impact because if we're waiting to get so my all my quotes that are included in my proposal 
not good for 90 days. We can ask the playground designer to, you know, secure it a little bit longer, but we know that the cost of materials, the cost of fuel, all these things are going up. So it's like, it's already an expensive project. Um, if we wait until it gets to November, th those costs are going to go up and it's just going to take longer. And now we've gone essentially because of the planning process, because of New England winters, we've carried on a whole additional year to get this um, constructed. And that's a major concern of mine. Um, I, that this is my, I think this is such an important project to the entire town, not to just North Layton, that if we could find a way to um, work together to get this on the June Warren article, that the people of the town would certainly be appreciative. Um, it's not going to make it, you know, just my opinion, you have from today, you have the warrants closing on April 26th, you've got a month from today. Well, well, this is where I'm going to ask you, yeah. yeah. so well, can I just ask you one question in regards to that? Can we, can we essentially, if you guys take it under advisement with application for funding, I know application for funding essentially goes in, so we'll, we'll, um, we'll, your next meeting will be after warrant articles close. And this is public meeting, this is you know, public record. Can we establish the warrant article and give you guys the time to go through the process? Because essentially we have until June. If we get to town meeting and the both, and the committee chooses not to approve and fund this project, then we simply won't motion that the town carries that warrant. I think that would be the best approach and a win-win for everybody um, in this situation. Because I'm perfectly okay with if you guys don't want to move forward, because we do you do have a few months until town meeting that I just simply won't stand up and vote and ask the moderator to ask the town to vote on. I'd like to say something. Are you the moderator can't spend this money. Mr. Well, I know it's the taxpayer. Well, that's the thing. It's a, it's a, it's a project. Is the, is the chairman in committee. control of the committee? I'm trying. Mr. Dickens. All right. Uh, this project has gone through the process of review and its worthiness, and all of that has been accepted. The only reason it was voted down at the previous meeting was due to the location of the uh, playground itself in the front where most many of us that uh, voted negatively thought that it was in danger, whereas in the back there's plenty of space. I don't see any reason uh, why we just cannot accept here and now all the previous work that had been done on this project and say we approve of all the work that's been done and then and vote on the new location. And I, I want to, I want to say something to that. Are you finished? Yes. I would stick. But make make it quick because. All right. I know it's hard because you're on. Everyone's on ten thousand committees. Oh, can I? Just, uh, I want to say something yeah. quick. Just uh, I have, I gave this a lot of thought, and I thought, you know what? I I supported this thing from day one. I think that there's a special. I should have maybe I should have called the order of the day. If the ethics, I don't know what to, you know what I mean? We don't have an attorney like the planning board. But let's put it this way. I supported this from day one. I wanted to go through, I want to move it along fast. I'm not going to make, I'm going to probably, some people won't be happy with me, but I, I really want to move this thing along tonight. Okay. Um, I will make a motion no. to accept all the previous uh, work submitted as approved. Is there a second? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe no by you, but maybe no, no. yes by someone else. No, this is what I'm going to say. Go ahead. No, no, no. no. yeah, but it's open for a second. Yeah. I made a motion. It is open for a second. All right, wait a minute now. You second. You got a second. Second, now this is. We discussion. got a second, now we can have a discussion. 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 Do you mind if I talk now? I don't mind, Mr. Wish. I, I appreciate your input. Okay. This is what I would like to say. Okay. You're, okay. you're open to your opinion. I said it earlier. I know. I would like to make a motion to take this under advisement, get a placeholder from the Board of Selectmen, have a meeting next week, I mean next month, for an application for funding. As long as we have a placeholder in place before April 11th, then it can make it on the warrant. But I'm not going to vote on this tonight. We're not going to vote on any other project, no matter who comes before us, because we're not going to break our rules for these people and not do it for everyone else. 
Because listen, wait, I'm talking. I've been on this community since it started, okay? We have not bent our rules for anyone. I know, Mr. Lewis. And we're not going to start that. today. Well, okay. That's, we're I, not going to start today. That's your opinion. Now, I, I will, when this discussion is over, I will make a motion to take this under advisement. And next month, we will have a motion for funding, an application for funding with a warrant article to go forward for the June meeting. Now, I have a question. Go ahead. In, the, in your discussion. Um, are we guaranteed a placeholder for the time? Yes, we are. I already spoke. Yes. I already asked. Yes. Yes. I already talked. Yes. Yes. Talk. Yes. 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 They've always they've always set aside placeholders for the CPC. Well, we're not done talking. You know, I'm not right. throwing nobody under the bus. I know. I can appreciate the process and the and the flexibility, and that's what I was looking for. Right. I just we to just can't vote on this, which is fine. Um, Jim, you can go because we're not voting. <laughs> You're all right with that? You're all right with that? Well, I, that was my biggest concern. Excuse I me. want to have a placeholder and try to progress it as fast as we can to yes, get sir, it on the warrant. Yeah. Um, We're still in discussion. Okay. Yep. And I just like to just to throw in a couple notes as far as the plans concerned. Mm -hmm. One, it is going out back. Um, out back meaning essentially where the volleyball court is. I thought that would be a happy medium for all of us to bother been and if anybody's not yeah. don't waste your time about that you know what you're yeah, saying the, yeah people are actually resting yeah it's just it's in shambles what it would cost to repair it doesn't work that nobody uses it and it's nice it provides a line of sight from the street but it's not out front i also missed as mr was advised one thing that really stuck with me from the last meeting is as you can see it aesthetically looks different i think it's more fitting to the community and also to a new piece that's coming I know that once you get to the application for funding, you'll be looking at the dollar value. I do have what a very hopeful lead for some grant funding from a local playground organization. So I just want that to be said as part of the overall project. So can I ask you a question? You're all right with it's going that other way. It's not, well, yeah, I don't have to be all right with it. Well, I mean, it's your part. You worked yeah, on this. If I may, go ahead, Tim. Just ask a question. Tom, you can't bend rules. rules. I'm not bending rules. Can you ask your question? Would this committee be willing, because I know I would be, I would be willing to meet three, four, five times before town meeting to get this project done. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, absolutely. So if everyone else is willing to do the same, I'm willing to do the same. Let's get this, let's, if, I, think, you get I think we can do it. I really do. I, I honestly do it. Because if, if, if we can meet prior to our usual meeting dates, okay, and have a meeting, to again accept this application for eligibility, look it over, and come back next month and then present and vote on. I should say vote on an application for funding to go forward. That would and answer that question. And the advisory committee recreation commission, they can get everything all filled out, come back to us, and we can meet again, possibly once or twice, or maybe three times before a time meeting, so we can get this on once. Good. And I'll give you a little time to yeah. work on this. I know people are busy. Mr. Chair, are you in control of me? I am. I, go ahead. Do you want? I have. I want to recognize somebody else, Mr. Ruckus. Okay. Procedurally, we have a motion that's been seconded. I know that. So what I understand is we got to vote on. Defeat that motion, Mr. Woods. Want to vote to approve motion for eligibility? Accept it. Or take it under advisement. Take it under advisement. Okay. I'll make that motion. I haven't made that motion yet. You can't. All right, we have to vote on the previous motion before we can clear the well, floor. We're, right, we're still discussing. Right. Can I discuss it more? Yeah. Sure. Hey, uh, Mr. Chair, I, oh, wait, uh, wait, you wait. have given Mr. Uh, you have given Mr. Woods there quite a bit of time and a few others. I would like to make a couple of, I'd like to engage in the discussion as well. Go ahead. All right, so the, uh, uh, a playground for North Dighton has been uh in the works and on the planning board at various stages that you for a, a long time and as mr rhines uh pointed out himself he has worked diligently on the on it in the past it's been a point of contention between uh a, a, a number of key players for what i recall is years now and uh it has always run into one sort of a roadblock or another and uh, to the point that uh, I wonder who some of the people on the committee are representing themselves, a few neighbors, or are they representing the best interests of the children of North Dighton and the greater Dighton community? So um, uh, we're seeing that played out again this evening where certain parties are coming up with whatever 
uh, they can identify or, or hook a delay onto. And uh, once again, uh, this, this goes on and on and on. And uh, when everybody around this table and they, a number of people in the audience are quite familiar with these plans, the discussion, uh, the debate over the location at the, at the site. Uh, so uh, in my opinion, um, we should support this. We should vote for it. Uh, the Parks and Recs Commission folks have uh, been very diligent in uh, providing plans to meet previous comments and recommendations. I feel that they've done due diligence and I feel that everyone around the table is quite familiar with the pros and the cons. And, uh, and if we, and if in some fashion we are bending the rules a little bit, I mean, who is it to slap our wrist? Uh, it's our community, it's our money, the funds have already been taxed, they're already available, and uh, you know, where's Big Brother that's gonna come in and spank us? It isn't there. So, uh, I, so uh, Mr. Chair, I would like very much for us to support this for the children and families of North Dighton and Dighton, generally speaking, and uh, this business of coming up with uh, one sort of uh, ridiculous reason to delay or disrupt it or stop it uh, really is, uh, it, it, is it, it just is uh, horrific at some point. And it's an ex at the last meeting, we witnessed the same parties doing a horrific, brutal, verbal assault on the chairman of the Parks and Recs Commission. And tonight, we seem to be a little more well-mannered, but we're still at the same thing, delay, delay, delay. So I would ask I that- I take I've had- 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 i you're done throwing your little ding ding. I have something I'd like to say, and then I want to get Not back to that. Well, I've completed my remarks. I'd like to say this. I, I'm i still in the same, I, I don't think I'm breaking the rules. I don't think I'm bending the rules, in my opinion. I don't I'm, think you I'm, know I'm only one person. I believe I do. Oh, I don't, I don't think and I know, but I, this is something I got to put out there. You guys have a lot of experience. You've been in this for a long time. And I respect that knowledge and everything, but I'm not looking backwards and at the past. We've got to move forward. I, I feel we're doing the right thing and I want to move it tonight. It probably won't happen, who knows? But that's just my opinion. I'm one person, I'm one person. You're not listening, Tom. No. But I, yes, I do hear you, Mr. Woods. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is, I just got that material in my hands a few days ago. And it says that we have the leeway to Make an exception. I, I don't think that we're going to, just because we make an exception, to move this thing forward faster. Show me where it says that. I don't even have it with me. I didn't think you did. But I have read it. Yeah, I read it too, and I read it differently. Do you have it with you? No. Well, there you go. <laughs> so it's a, everyone has a different opinion. I understand that. And I want to recognize Mr. Erickson, and I'll get to you. Go ahead, Dave. I believe that there's, we don't need to use any exceptions if we just agree as that person would have said, uh, mm -hmm. have a couple of extra meetings. Between them now. Okay. You know, it sounds like there's you know, a change in movement in the uh, contentious issue of the location. Can we get out of the discussion phase? Just one more person in the back there. Hi, Katie Andrews. I live in the North Bend community. I grew up there. Um, many of you I've had the privilege of meeting and working with in the past. I just want to say I feel like I would love to consider the multiple times that we have brought this before you as a board, the multiple times you've taken it under advisement, multiple times we've approved and even gotten to the point of a warrant and just had funding issues. So we have approved this money multiple times in the past. And under you know 27 different versions you know version 6.0 bcd emf um i appreciate the work you all do and i would just love to see this go forward and and get the work going i have a i've been you know in some phase of 
trying to get some momentum on this for at least six years. I have records of that. And I have a child who has now outgrown playgrounds while we've been waiting for a playground. Thankfully, I still have two more who are still in age. I would love to see them make use of that place. I grew up on that playground using it. These girls grew up on that playground using it. We would just love to see a place that's safe for our kids to meet other kids, <coughs> especially we know what a toll COVID has taken on our children and socialization overall and the community and people and not being together and having a place together is huge. And so whatever you guys can do to make sure that this makes that June meeting would be absolutely appreciated. Thank you. What was your name again? My name's Katie. 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 Thank you, Katie. Can I recognize Dave? I kind of left them hanging there. Were you all set? I agree with uh, Dave er Eric's too. Um, I think if we're going to do multiple meetings, mm -hmm. just a proper way, but really make an attempt to get it out there so we get it done. Okay. I'm all for it, but I want to make sure we're sincere to get this project. That's what I also would like to. Yes, sir. <laughs> Me? Yes, yep. sir. Um, Jonathan Gale, 22, Waterford Circle Impact, and I'm also the ATA coordinator for the town and chair of the APA commission. And I just, I want to just express, first of all, you guys have all done a lot of hard work on this, not just this year, but some of you have done a lot of hard work on this for many, many years. And none of that goes underappreciated or underrespected because we wouldn't be doing this today and here where we are now if it weren't for the hard work that several of you have done for a long time, you know, People agree and disagree. That's part of the process. We all know that. And that's part of what's going on tonight. In fact, we see that too. Mm -hmm. Having said that, originally, and I've only been in the town for five years, a little over five years. And I think some of you know at first, my first thought way back when was, you know, everything has to be done by town hall. Everything has to have this, has to have that. But what I've learned over time is where the need is and where there's the most likelihood to get things taken care of you know, for the short term and maybe for the next many years going down the road. And if you look at the North Bank playground, you look at all of the residents there and the homes that have young kids and so forth. You look at the original thought of having it, quote unquote, out back, way out back, which from my perspective would have been not accessible for a lot of situations to where it would have been, you know, almost at the street. And a lot of people thought that we were back to where this proposal is now. This has come an enormously long way. If you look at the fact that there's going to potentially be fencing there, if you look at the, the backstop area that's going to be redone, if you look at lighting that's going to be done, all this work that Parks and Rec has put into this, whether you vote on this tonight or, as Mr. Wood suggested, it's taken under advisement and put on the warrant as, as a placeholder, the bottom line is that park had, is the one park in the community that not only has the potential to be fully accessible for every resident in the community, and the first playground, I'm going to say that over and over if I need to, to be fully accessible for all the residents in the community, it has the potential to be the full park that's fully accessible. It's not just the playground. Everything else in there is going to be new. Everything else in there is going to look vastly different and improved than it does today, and I can't even see it when I say that. But I think you understand my point. There's an opportunity for you to set precedent for what your perspective is of what parks provide to the town. And I know that this, this committee has provided a lot of funding for a lot of other projects. This is one that virtually every single member of the community has an opportunity to go to, to enjoy, to sit at, play in. So I'm strongly in support of it. I'm strongly in support of the work that the Parks and Rec Commission has done on, the, on behalf of the community. I just wanted to make that clear. Excuse me, Mr. Gales, uh, would you care to expand on the term fully accessible? Because some of the public may not appreciate uh, the point that you're making. I think when you look when you look at a playground or any open space area or any public area, you have to look at how people use it and who can use it. So in this case, for example, there will be a walkway to get there. There'll be easy access to a parking lot. So whether you have a child in a wheelchair an adult in a wheelchair or a walker or using cane or using other devices is first of all going to be physically easy for them to access and it's going to coincide with where accessible parking or disability parking and i know some of you have it, handicap placards you're going to be able to use those handicap placards to park relatively near the playground yourselves and get there with family members children grandchildren whoever it might be 
you're going to have easy access, they're going to have easy access to it. If, the, if somebody came in on their own, if a child came down the street and they're both in a wheelchair, they're going to have easy access to get for themselves. Then you look at the equipment. With the equipment, much of the equipment that's going to be in this playground that, that Kevin has worked so hard on with the, with the commission is going to be equipment that anyone can use. So you all talked about safety and you talked about road safety and police police details or who would be around and so forth. Well, just as important is the safety of children or anyone with a disability, not only using the equipment, but helping people on and off of the equipment. So all of the equipment that's going to be there somehow has an accessible component so that children, regardless of their age and ability, can use it. There are a lot of kids that can't hold railings on a swing like this. They can't hold the chains. There are a lot of kids that can't go down a slide normally. There are a lot of kids that can't get on a playground, excuse me, a merry-go-round, the way many of us did when we were kids, and many of them never could. So this is an opportunity for all of those kids to have the same opportunity. It's an opportunity for parents to share and interact with kids who have disability and kids who don't have disability. So what you're doing is you're expanding everyone's understanding of what it means to have a disability and what it means to be open-minded and what it means to be accepted. So I don't know how else to explain that. But well, no, that was great. That's excellent. Uh, I think we, I think most of the people are aware of that, and I, we appreciate you uh, putting that forth. Um, one more thing, I just like to say, and uh, this other plan that came in, the second plan, it's much more efficient. It's, they did add a lot of better design and format and everything. And I, it seems like the numbers, it's really not that bad. I mean, I think it's going to be, a, you know, we have the funding. Um, I still, I see Kevin possibly as the chairman of Park and Rec is, is kind of easing up on the, I was under the impression we wanted to push it through uh, right away tonight. Maybe I misread it. Well, I just want to make sure that we have the place. For the well, that's what I asked. They're, they're telling me they have it. I Tom, you mind working. if I talk? Yeah. Yes. You gotta interrupt me. I'm not gonna interrupt you. Please don't, don't. You don't have to Please point. Don't. Mr. Woods, don't point that finger. It's got a nail in it. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I, you know, and also. You interrupt me. Well, I'm gonna. I will. Just let me finish. I mean, I understand where you're coming from. Thank you. But that finger with the nail, you know what I'm talking about? It's an old one. My grandma used to say, don't point that finger, it's got a nail on it. Yeah. So here's the down. thing I want to say. Yeah. Um, I have a grandchild who has spina bifida. So I also have uh, in my heart a feeling for this, not just for the money. We have the money. We have the money. It's not about the money. We're very fortunate to have all this money coming into this town, even with COVID on this CPC for, uh, formula. So it's not the money, we got the money. We were just trying to work out a few things. They had, we had some folks get together, they worked it out and they did a tremendous job on their own time and even hand delivered this stuff. And it all, it looks, it's excellent. So if we can, we'll finish this discussion up and we'll vote. And then we'll move on. You want to speak now in this? You want to let me? I will let you, but you just don't make me like figure out again. Well, we're trying. I'm trying to lower the temperature a little bit. Do okay. I, I have to stop? This? Yeah, does she have to get up? Go ahead. Your turn. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I would like the public to understand, and maybe some of our CPC members understand. We are not going to push anything through. Okay, we have to follow procedure and protocol. Okay, the CPC is a program that was designed by the state. We have regulations and rules that we need to follow. And, and, and I hope everybody can understand that. We're not pushing anything through for anyone ever. I've been on the CPC since it started. Okay, it actually started in my living room with myself and Ellen Bidlack. We have $906,000 in the kitty now. I've been involved since day one. I met my wife at that playground in 1972. Okay? So, if you think the playground means a lot to you, well, it means a lot to me too. But there are procedures and protocols that we need to follow. And that's the way government works. I'm sorry if anyone thinks otherwise. Okay? 
We discussed this a half hour ago that we were just going to make a simple motion after this discussion is over. Whenever it's over, I will make a motion to take this under advisement. Some of our members only got this when this meeting started today, okay? So, in all fairness and to the rules and regulations that we need to follow, we're going to take it under advisement. We want this to go forward, okay? You've heard that here tonight from just about everybody, right? We definitely want, we this. Definitely want this to go forward, okay? But we are not the deciding factors. We only decide if it's going to be funded or not going to be funded. The taxpayers who show up at the special town meeting that we'll have this one or the annual town meeting will decide whether or not we spend the money. If we don't decide, we only say yes we'll fund it but it's the taxpayers who spend the money we don't spend the money we just manage the money we are not going to mismanage anything because we have people coming before us all the time and we've completed some very very good projects in this town and if you want i could list them all but we don't want to be here all night we have paid for a lot of things for a lot of people in this town and they all follow the same procedure so we're not trying to shaft anybody, you know, it's, it's been a work in progress, like Tim said earlier, and we don't want to back up to that, but the playground would have been there a couple of years ago if somebody didn't throw a monkey wrench in there. So, you know, there was some monkey wrenches thrown around here too, and you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, so let's end the discussion, Tom, if that's okay with you. Wow. Hold on, are you done? I'm done. Mr. Reins? Um, I would just like to respectfully ask of the applicants, since um, we have recovered monies for fence and, and lighting, Kevin, um, is the intent to complete the fence of the playground, the ball field itself, so the light is brought back? Or? So we actually, we just, it just got launched this week, the invitation for bid to address the baseball field fencing, and part of the consideration okay. is moving right field to make the pathway. Um, there is some, and this might be a question, for, for you guys is in my proposal, I do have some money for additional fencing to shield the basketball court from that. I don't know if the previous funding because it pertains to fencing on the property. That, is, that, that wouldn't matter. Um, so my, who I used was Highland Fence on the Far River. So if you contact the gentleman, you may be able to update your, your ball field. Because again, you only have to use the one person who's on the state bill list. Right. In regards to situations like that. Mr. Paul St. George is the town's electrician, and I went through him to get the numbers that we have for the company. So if you can contact both of these and have that information ready with your packet for funding, then we can just we can just add that and just go right to town meeting and ask for those extra funds to complete the rest of the fencing. Wasn't uh, I think that was already voted? I yeah, but if the funds were encumbered, it wasn't not it's not going to be enough now because the bid that was given at that time is probably going to exceed what it is now for fencing into a stall. Right. So same thing with Mr. St. George and the light this cost me. So we're, we're actually we're, we have a pre-bid meeting. You just you could ask the contract. Yeah, so we can see. But I think what we forecasted that the, the fencing project was going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about thirty thousand. Um, and then. I'm still trying to iron out the details of lighting and working with TMLP. So much has changed between, especially, I think that was 2019 that that got approved. So, so much has evolved in, in rebates and-, and We can tweak the number, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. At next month's meeting, or if you know prior to that. Yep. That Tom, no. I, I don't actually, I, as, far as, too. as far as the whole, well, the, the nice previously of approved funding, I don't foresee us Getting additional funding for fencing or lighting, so this project would be standalone. I'd like to say one more thing. Sort of, so you know, wait a minute. Like hold on. on. A lot of the projects that we've had over the past, we've asked them to overfund a little bit, mm -hmm. just in case if they run into problems, because that whatever money's left can go back. Correct. Right. So don't be afraid. Well, and I'm of that attitude, right. and you'll see that with my request. Right. Is that I'm projecting for. You know, right. you're going to run into something. I, I yeah, you better than and everything more. that we've done over the, in, at least over in the past year of myself being the chairman of Parks and Rec. I have no problem giving money back to the taxpayers. I don't feel like I need okay. to use every penny that's given. Tim, just for um, just for reference, there was um, forty-five thousand dollars, and that was high level fence we used for. That was for the backstop and yep. all the fencing, and then the lighting was fifteen thousand. That was for the same. Okay, so.
Yeah. And I've spoke to Ms. Aguiar about contacting Ms. Right. St. George and yeah. I and all that. So just trying to work out the details of what those so are. So you those numbers that we need to include that and just, um, you know, it, again, um, so I agree with my question. So the intent is still to do the backstop and we're all offensive. Correct. Okay. You're talking about that. We're also going to make some in-kind contributions. Well, we will discuss to make in-kind contributions yeah, on your from room. Parks and Rec yeah. for, um, do dugout benches, cement in the dugouts to make it again more accessible and just bring it kind of up to date. So okay, great, thank you. And I just want to say that you know we have sometimes we have to remind ourselves we are doing the work of the people and sometimes it drags out a little bit. So let's get it all out on and we have a record of it. It's it's only about, you know, we started a few minutes late. You know, I we're all here, you know, and we're trying to do the right thing for the you got to remember who it's for, the kids, the people of North Lake. I just, I sincerely was trying to push it through fast. And I think we're all in agreement. Though. I think we're all in agreement. We're we all work all together. Well, and we yeah. certainly appreciate the, your, your guys' um, Well, that was, uh, too. you understand that's the impression I was getting. You well, know, no, like Mr. Woods, but if we can make these the accommodations, more everybody's happy, everybody's feathers, everything gets had it down nice. Everybody, Everybody gets, wants to see this. We all want to see it go through. We got a guarantee for the place. Yeah, and no, I'm playing nice in the sandbox tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's, uh, <laughs> and, uh, let's, all right. So, is there any more discussion on this thing that's been banging around here? So, one more month. The children in the wheelchairs can wait one more month. Is that what we're saying? No. Okay. okay. I'll we're going to expedite the. I will uh, make the motion to take this under advisement. Is there a second? Yeah, we still got that thing floating around. So I don't know what the motion was. The motion was a discussion on moving this thing right away. Moving, it, it, it's been a it seemed like. Do you I have it? Karen, do you have it? Yeah, a motion made by Mr. Digits and seconded by Dave Marvel to accept all documents as presented and improve and move it along to the app for funding, application for funding. All right. So, so we can can we revoke that and go with this vote? We, we can vote now on that, and it's a sense of the committee. Okay. Rather do something else to make it vote. Because I'm on board, Barbara's having a couple of meetings. Let's get this. Yeah. Okay. So you're changing your. I'm. I'm going to make a motion. motion to pass it tonight. Just going under advisement. We got a placeholder. We're all sincere about this to get this through. <clears throat> I'm on board. Can't make a motion. Okay, you can make a motion to motion. take it under advisement and speak with the town administrator to get a place card. That's the best thing. That's a good motion right there. If I can suggest you want to make the best thing, Dave, is to amend your original motion. That's right. what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. Can you, okay, so help me out. Yeah, I'm going to amend my uh, original motion. Can you read that again? All right, let's the digits. It's that. Accept all documents documents as presented and approve and move it along to the application for funding phase. And then that's what we want. Okay, so we want to try this again. I'm going to amend my my original motion. Okay. Yeah, we take this under advisement. Have some multiple meetings. Sincere. Be sincere about it. Try to push this forward. Get a warrant. Just go try to do it the right way. Follow the procedure. Okay. I'm second. I'll second that. Second by Mr. Ryan. Let's do a roll call fast. Aye. Mr. Marvell. Mr. Aye. Fritz, Mr. Ryan. Aye. 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 Mr. Aye. Pruitt, Mr. Rosa. No. No. Dave. Aye. Anderson. And I'll I'll go along with it. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, um, can we look at our calendars to see what available dates everyone has? Because I believe our next our next scheduled meeting is April 14th. Can we, can we all get together and meet prior to the 14th of April? Uh, I'm open to the 21st. I'm open to anything. I'm open to anything, Tim, on a on meeting. The only thing we're going to have a problem is trying to find a place. All of the scheduling. That's yeah, the problem. we got a lack of conference rooms. No, let's just stick with the 21st. We'll have a place guy, and it's going to. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Will the place card have, you know, just let's just call it. Uh, They'll hold the spot. Yeah, it'll it'll just just be a, we don't have to specify a dollar. No, it just holds a spot in the warrant, right? Yeah, it'll just right. it'll just um, have because the town does not um, 
control this money. Right. Only we control it. The people. Well, I don't know. We need to know the people. Well, so in the process, we need to specify a specific dollar amount before the closing of the no. Okay. We don't. No. All right. So we're we're in agreement with that. Yeah. So. All right, so our goals is April 11th, right? We're right. going to meet until the 14th. Today is the 17th of March. And can we meet successive Thursdays in April, possibly the 7th and the 14th before we meet on the 21st? I, I can. And then by the 20th, if we do prior to that, and we have the opportunity to Accept the, we've already accepted the application for uh, eligibility, taking under advisement. You may be able to come back and vote on the application, go forward to funding, and then get the applicant back in for the 21st for the application for funding. Does that work for everyone? Or just a suggestion. In the discussion, I'm fine. April 7th, 14th. Uh, 7th, 14th. And then 21st, we'll take a vote. So we're going to have to, you know, um, it'll, it'll be, be uh, uh, I like the 14th. And so, oh, I understood. I know I'm not okay. amenable to anything. No, I guess Did we get it done at two meetings? So? No, I, I think so. I think we can. We can get it done at the next meeting. I think. So, not the 14th, if we do it that Yeah, before we still have to give the applicant the application for funding. Now, is that 30 yeah. days, Tim? Tim, does that mean? Okay, days? yeah. All right, I have 30 days. We'll go the 7th and we'll give you an application for funding. On the 7th? Yeah, and then the 14th, we'll do. Uh, the funding. May I just ask that as when the placeholder um, gets approved? Well, not if we just can, can mention. Can you just provide me with documentation that the placeholder has been? Yeah, we'll have a file. The chip and send out. Yeah, you, you'll have the same way of getting to know that. I, okay. The placeholder you know, thing you know, is kind of all right. Thing. You know what I mean? Okay. There you go. So you plug the for Just let me call first. Can we call me Cat? You should not say it. Yeah, you know who to call. Let's play sounds. Call, uh, what is that part? What's that thing called? Posse is good. Yeah. All right. So, where are we, folks? We got Karen, you got this all down, the dates and all such. So, you're going to meet again on uh, April 7th. Okay. And Six o'clock here. Oh, well, that's the rub. I'm not sure about that. Karen, I think. No. Huh? Is it, it is it seventh and it's going to be six the seventh. Yeah. she said the seventh. and when you say there might be a problem with the bill well i know other people get this reservations too right we're going to have to see so you have the schedule more or less maybe you could help us figure out where well, we'll, we'll have to find out see if old town hall is being like that's, that's a good point point. that's a good point so we check with me yeah 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 We'll be able to have it somewhere, even if we. Yeah. So we definitely the seventh. I don't want to say too much. I, okay. I do want to make this point. I guess it's it's coming down to boards and committees. It's the chair's decision. If you still want to go the Zoom route, you can. You don't have to do that anymore. It's not required. And you just yeah, have to post the meeting. You have to post the meeting. Four hours like, notice, and then you can meet in person. Yeah, I like and the Zoom. It's up to whomever if they want to wear. A mask or whatever that's up to them i like the zoom because it does let more people come into the meeting even if they can't make it i just kind of like the zoom so even, yeah. even though we don't need it i don't know it's up to the we don't need it. you don't think you need the zoom no. so next meeting how many people you got on the zoom tonight uh you got one two three four people out there but we did a lot more yeah, at least four feet. Because yeah, what, you could also, high rate you know, what you could also do is that you'd have to have access <laughs> for people. The link wasn't. Uh, the hyperlink was not posted, though. There were many residents asking for it. It wasn't available. Yeah, can I there were just just for the, 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 the committee's um, yeah. information? When you're posting agendas, please do it in a Word document. A PDF, one, is not accessible at all. And two, you lose the hyperlink for Zoom, and it's like a nightmare for most people like to just click on it. Not it was a link like this long, and you would have had to copy each letter. Well, who posted that? Tom Borkman. I did. I posted that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I did. Yeah. 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 I know. That comes through. Exactly. It was just no, that wasn't me. That came through. No, did that come through the town? It comes through the end? The town posted it, but it wasn't clickable. 
The so format that you sent in was a scanned PDF. Oh. Which makes it difficult to transfer it into Oh, and then I was then I did it changes into what's called an image document. Okay, where are we at? Right. Right. So that's just neither here nor there at this point. So where are we at? Where are we, Karen? Uh, yeah. I know we're going to have a meeting April seventh, which discussing if you're going to use the Zoom. I prefer the no Zoom. Zoom. No Zoom. You like Zoom because sometimes because you can't I'll get on. <laughs> Well, you're a secretary. What's up? I would think the goal is that the have people involved. Yeah. People are involved and informed. Yeah. And I mean, let's be honest, especially for this project, parents. I've got my husband watching three children right now, so that I can come to this. So, well, for the, a lot oh. of people who would benefit from that. What happened is the only, excuse me. The only reason why I say this is because uh, we've had planning board meetings. We've had people on the phone from California, from Tennessee, from Florida, okay. from Canada. They could not hear the information that we were providing at the planning board meeting. It happened yesterday <laughs> at the stormwater committee with people on the phone again from Canada, has Tennessee, and Florida. It just continues to happen. It just breaks up. It depends on where you are. You know, when you're running the zone, just, just, just whether or not they participate, I mean, just being able to well, access it. I think Leanne had mentioned that the selectmen like to do it because it brings more people of the town access. I'm, I'm trying to be as transparent as I can, but yeah, maybe I did mess that up. I didn't know that, but I couldn't get to the town hall, so I sent it scanned to Leanne. She, no, but I, I guess I didn't realize. I'll we'll have to start checking with the technical Mr. advice. Mr. Chairman, it's a point of information just so that the committee is aware. The state has a still approved of the hybrid version of all meetings through this June. They still have it on they the hash, yeah. Okay. So, so I'd like to keep it Zoom. Zoom away. So well, let's, zoom, zoom. let's zoom up. We'll yeah. figure it out, Dave, somehow. Uh, you know, what can I say? Yeah. OK, you say nay, I say yay. So <laughs> For clarification, Mr. Chairman, this meeting will be April 7th at 6 p.m. Correct. Location to be determined. We'll have to figure it out. Okay. I'm we'll in Monday, uh, Tim, what I'll do, I'll call the end, see what we got going, and then see if we get those dates. Okay. If the Lions Club involved, we we're going to have to work around them, you know, because we got to get this done. I agree with you guys. So. And we've been in that boat before. We couldn't even have meetings because we didn't have a building. We didn't have a camera. We didn't make up. We had this building. Now we got, yeah. It helps, you know. So all right. So, so are we, if this committee can meet, I'm throwing this out there right now. The Commission on Disability is scheduled for this location that same day at 4:30. Okay. If this committee can meet earlier, like at five or five fifteen, because we have it until six. So we can change our date on the seventh. On the seventh, yes. Well, we're going to be at six. So, well, we have to be right. But I mean, what I'm saying is, we have it from four thirty to six. Uh -huh. if, if there's a, I don't know if, if there was a, six, but we talked about it. There was a glitch, like, like at five or five fifteen. We, because of the advance notice, could change our meeting date and basically let you have this space. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to? Uh, it's good to know. Where are we now? Are the meeting to six thirty, and then we know they're out of here. For that night or what? Doesn't matter. Well, we're at, we're never we're not that long anyway. Well, okay. I can talk about what I'm going to say. There we'll wasn't space available. All right, so we'll work together. Maybe we can figure it out. We'll yeah. just we'll just thank you. Thank you. Or even part of our time slot if you need us to finish. I'd say you keep the six or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it. Thank okay. you, though. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, any more discussion? I hope not. We're all set. <laughs> you know, you just so <laughs> okay. You did a lot of writing tonight, huh? <laughs> um, okay, so do we have to. I lost. I forgot what it, where we're at. Do we have to vote on anything, Dave? Let's see. Can you, can you give me your financial? That's all set. So it's all set. Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm going to have to end. Uh, we're going to open up the uh, public input, but I want Dave Peckerson, our finance, our vice chairman and finance officer, that will give us a uh, folks. Can you just? It's been fairly good, though. Thank you, um, Mr. Eckerson, You have the floor. Yes, the uh, financial report. You've given two pieces of paper, and you need to creatively uh, stick them together like this to form one okay. wide sheet, as preferred by accountant. Designing our account account is working on this with me. Uh, there are no updates. The only difference from last month is you can read this one. Um, last month you needed microscope to read. 
And if you look, if you want to know how much money we have in the program. Yeah. Thanks for coming out, guys. You want to know the total amount of money you go all the way to the far right at the bottom, you know, one million. Well, we get one million dollars. No, we don't. We don't quite have one million. We're almost to a million. But we already decided to spend some of that. The amount that you have to subtract from that is about 136, 281 for Lincoln Woods, um, 50,000 for the boat ramp, 25,000 for the check that we're about to write for preservation. And finally, uh, we need to subtract from that. Um, what did I leave off? 62,500 for the playground project, which what we just heard is that probably was still that amount uh, they hope will hold up. Uh, so if you subtract those four amounts, then we'll have what we really have to spend, which is uh, you know still in the seven hundreds, around seven hundred. So it's um, healthy balance, and we need to be, uh, in my opinion, we need to be thinking about what we can do with it. There are still some errors in this, and I am working with her. She says she can pretty much give me an update once it's approved. So that will be you know, the main meeting. But I mean, I think she's learning it too. Because yeah. you go into that office, and they're like, when you say CPC, they're like, oh my God, you know, they don't even. So go ahead, Tim. And we um, updated it all about the negotiations on Pleasant Street. I have not heard anything. Have you? And we reach we'll uh, reach out on Mr. to see what the situation is. Did you just miss it? Not so quite sure if Mrs. Gulab was working on that or I think it was Mrs. Harris being the former town administrator. So did you get that Karen? We're gonna find out. Did you get that? Not what he did. <laughs> Nothing. I didn't see it. Yeah, you know what's a good thing? It's still heard was flying around when it goes up on YouTube. So you can watch that oh, yeah. and take your notes. Yeah. 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 In case you have, I don't know what's going on tonight. Yeah, we'll reach out. It's I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Uh, but life happens, folks. Okay, so hey, uh, let's make a motion. I mean, let, can somebody make a motion to accept the financial report? I motion. I'll uh, second. That's okay. great. Uh, motion made and seconded. <coughs> motion made by Del Collard, seconded by Tim Rines to accept the financial report, and we'll do a roll call. Dave, aye. aye. Mr. Woods, Mr. Rines, aye. Del, aye. Mr. Aye. Pruitt, Mr. Rosa, abstain. From the you're abstaining. One abstention. Dave and myself. I'll vote. Okay, any other public input out there? We have who's left out there? Uh, we can help out and um, Stacy Stacy Alice. Stacey Alice. Is there anybody any public input out there? And uh, we have one of the highest rated shows in uh, cable, I think, <laughs> only because of the entertainment value. It's nothing personal. I want to uh, thank our members for being so really, uh, what's that, decorum? Tolerant of it. Tolerant of it. Yeah, he's killed this guy. Mr. Chairman, uh, if everyone wants uh, yeah, to see the minutes, I'd yeah. like to make a motion that we accept the meeting minutes of the December. Was that the one that had the correction in it? With the corrections. Yes. With the corrections. With the corrections. Okay. Thanks, Tim. Um, and that was. Uh, February 27th. Yes, yeah, why didn't you I don't know February 17th. Yeah, February 17th. Oh, yeah. How do you think that is, Dave? Aren't you Irish? Yeah, I wish I was Portuguese. That was. So I'd like to make a motion that we approve the minutes. You would say that to me. Is that the one we gave you? Uh, the one we gave you? Tim, go ahead again. I'd like to make a motion that we approve the meeting minutes of February 17th, 2022, prepared by our. Administrative motion on the floor to approve the minutes uh, from the last meeting. I'll second that. Uh, all right, cut it short. Second by with uh, amendments. Excuse me. With, with amendments to Mr. Digit's uh, vote, and then a seconded by Adele Collard. Anything else? Then? That's it. Right. Okay. Let's take a roll call on that. Uh, Ms. Aye. Aye. Mr. Aye. Lewis, Mr. Ryan. Aye. Aye. Mrs. Collard. Mr. Pruitt. Aye. Mr. Rosa. Aye. Mr. Eckers, and myself, yeah, I, it's unanimous, unanimous. <laughs> All right, so we got through that. Any other 
Anything else anybody wants to say? We have the, we have the meeting scheduled, uh, public input's been covered. Now, if there's any, what, what did we do? What's wrong? The rest of the public input, we're not finished. I'd like to make a few points. I was just going to say if anybody had yeah. something else, that's what I was getting at. You're, you're, so we're still in the public input? We're still in. If somebody wants to make statements or anything, let it fly. All right, so um, we're seeing what's transpired. So what our next move is that we have to um, write warrant articles for the three categories, the 10, 10, 10 submissions, as well as the administrative budget. That warrant article has to be written. The administrative budget is $5,000 or 5%. Um, that only information just needs to go just to the town accountant, and she gets that. Um, so um, last year, we're gonna have to look at the receipts um, with Mr. Eckerson to see what was received by the town. I'll just go throw a number out there. It was $100,000 and you're using 10%, which is $10,000 each. There's three categories of 10, you have $70,000 left over minus the $5,000 administrative budget. That would make it to be $65,000 in the undesignated reserve that would automatically go there. If the committee decides that they want to bump up those numbers, because sometimes after um, the tax receipts come in from the state, those numbers have to be readjusted and you have to do that sometimes at the special time meeting. So my suggestion is that let's look to see what we received last year. It's up to the committee. You can put more than 10% yeah. into the historical category, the open space. Can I say something? Sure. Um, also, I want to interject, we did get an extra 30% at the end there. So there is a lot of money flowing in there, and you are correct because I was I was under the impression it stayed the same. Because sometimes it doesn't change, but this year it did change uh, exponentially. Well, it it changed, so, changed drastically because the receipts are up for the registry of deeds in regards to that. But um, back to the point being is that um, the committee can decide to say again to put in more than. 10% in each of three of those categories. Um, the administrative budget is 75%. You could, you could put 10% in it. If you don't expend those monies, you're just you know, wasting putting that into yeah, like 10%. The, um, the, so that would be the one article that had to be written, one article for submission again. So we're going to have to have that ready and prepared to vote on for next month at the meeting. So. Um, the chairman brought up a great point that is that um, the community preservation committee we pay dues annually to the yeah. committee um, community preservation coalition and what's happened is that the uh, configuration of how the dues are um, sent out to member communities is that it all depends on how much money is the percentage of money you take in. Once we before we were below the hundred thousand dollar mark, our dues were only three hundred fifty dollars a year. So now since we're over, I think it, the trigger was one hundred twenty five thousand with the eight hundred fifty dollars. So I think we're going to have to reach out to the coalition to see if we're going to have a dues increase. Um, they should be sending that paperwork out to us anyway, or you know their bill, or whatever it may be, their invoice. So um, we should be getting it pretty soon. And that's something we should look into. Excellent. Sorry. You're following. Is this game all out? Yeah. Oh, well, I had a question. Yeah, we, we already did. Financial uh, question. Yes. The, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, sir. The, I think you said something that was kind of maybe. What did I say? People thought of this gentleman here just said something. He knew about the 850 and he said it's already been paid. Well, is that what you meant to say, sir? Yes. Okay, so the previous, all the previous discussion before was of well, a great deal of value. No, no, not really. Oh, no, it is a value, Mr. Rosa, because are you on that uh, website? Hey, let me ask you a question before I get Tim, I didn't think you were going to do it. Let me ask you something. Wait a minute. Stand up, Parson. Stand up, Parson. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You are nothing. You are nothing. Tim, you stand up on the seat. You say you have done nothing. You are nothing. Let's go. Now, I'm afraid 
<laughs> no, I'm good this time. I'm like, yeah. Oh. I thought he was going yeah, to make sure you did. Yeah, I'm sure at least for that. But you know how to push his buttons, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, guys, uh, we're still live, by the way. All right, all right, we're still live. Let's get back in order. Somebody want to check on him, make sure he's You don't right. have to do that to try to aggravate him. Right. You didn't have to stand up and yell at me. All right, but he, he was holding his own. He was holding his own. Let's just try to get the finish. No, he was making a point. So we need to Tim call the police. Tim was making a point, and he didn't need to be embarrassed. We need the police. You think you can call the police? Come on. All right. Nothing clever about it. No. Somebody you call standing there yelling at me. Why? No. You're no good. Yeah, no that's what you want. to call him off call Is you going to be all right? Everybody's all right here. He's checking on him. I, he was holding it pretty well, but you know I can understand. He didn't need. To, Tim did not need to be insulted. Tim didn't need to stand up and say anything. All right, let's let's move he on. Was on. Like he, was he was doing good, and then it happened. He was discussing the future. But like I say, this is the highest. This is worse than that show with that guy from Cincinnati. All right, so uh, let's. Uh, okay. Let's make a move to do it. Where the hell was we? <laughs> Go ahead. I think we could. I think we're I done. We adjourn. Motion I made to adjourn, second by our uh, Toastmaster General. Yeah, Thank God for you. I don't have to go to confession now. So, okay. So uh, it's on the floor. Let's adjourn. Let's take a vote. Mr. Oh, no. Woods. Aye. Uh, Mr. Marvell, how do you vote for adjournment? I vote for it. Aye. Yes. Um, aye. 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 Mr. Pruitt. Aye. Dave, everybody. I'm for a unanimous adjournment at what time? Uh, I got 727. 727. Okay, so we're officially adjourned. Yes. Okay, I'm going to end this thing. Hold on, guys. Just a couple of times.